right, today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, take the helix out of the new 2016 uh, XP-1000. Um, not sure how long this video will last, how many other vehicles, but this is in fact the uh, secondary out of this 2016-1000. I believe the S model has the same, same secondary, uh, easily identified by the square pucks. Um, so depending on when you watch this video, we might be replacing these around, who knows. All right, so one of the big differences between this secondary and the 14 and 15 and some of the other EBS style secondaries is, is when you remove the helix, the spring uh, is held in by this helix, whereas 14 and 15 model 1000s and previous other Razor models and EBS, you just take the four screws out and then there's the dampener with the snap ring on it. Okay, so this doesn't have that. So anyway, let's, let's just proceed on to how we're gonna do this, all right? So I've got it in our tool that we sell, and you have to put the tool on this helix, whereas the other one you don't. Helix out first, okay? So I'm gonna put some pressure on it. All right, then you need to heat these screws up. Ideally, you need to heat them up one at a time and unscrew them one at a time. We'll get it good and warm because there's some Loctite on there and these screws are very easy to mess the head up on and then you kind of got a mess with your secondary. So I would suggest doing them one at a time. I use a Torx bit on my impact. Get it in there good and hold down good pressure. successful with that one okay and I'm sure I'll edit this video out but basically just repeat this on all four screws all right all four screws are out now so then all at this point you just start unscrewing and to keep in mind that there is an X Right here, it says 2X on this one, on this helix, and it needs to go back in the same direction. There's also an X on the secondary clutch right here, okay? So, just start unscrewing it. Okay, I got all four screws here. They're probably hot. Not too bad. I got man hands. Kidding. All right. Anyway, and then pick it up. Now, interesting. All right. So that's basically how you get the helix off of these. This is. I shouldn't be doing this in a video because I have one that this wouldn't come out as I got some helix issues, and I hadn't even checked this one yet. But anyway. That's another store. So that's how you get your helix off. And if you're changing springs and clutch kits for future use, notice it has, I call it a tang on it. And there's a recess in here. This is no longer a dampener. Uh, they call it a spider now. There's no other parts in it. And, uh, and so it would just go back on and you reverse it, put your X back on, blue lock tight, put your screws on, and then use your tool press it back down, and then put your four screws in. Pretty easy, just main thing is, is you no longer have a snap ring holding this in on this new 2016 model. 